Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. At any given time, there are thousands of large ships moving around the oceans and rivers of the world. The largest of these are shipping vessels, cruise ships, and military vessels like aircraft carriers and destroyers. But despite there being a seemingly endless amount of water in the world, collisions still happen. In many situations, these collisions are the result of poor communication. However, others like the 2019 near collision between the USS Chancellorville and a Russian destroyer are due to direct and purposeful action. A radar scope recording from 1993 shows just how easily an accidental collision can take place. In this case, a tanker vessel known as the Louisiana loses its engine power not far from land. The Louisiana captain alerts the harbor master to tell everyone in the harbor that the ship is no longer capable of maneuvering. The captain soon realizes he is on a direct collision course with a nearby cruise ship. Unfortunately, the Louisiana ends up running aground at the dock instead. In the case of the Louisiana, the captain and the harbor master did everything they could to avoid a catastrophe. Younger boat captains do not have the training necessary to know how to react in such situations. For that reason, companies, militaries, and coast guards can now utilize sophisticated bridge simulators to help prepare the next generation of boat captains for various eventualities. Like all other simulators, these provide a lifelike but safe environment to practice many different scenarios, including those involving potential collisions. Due to the increased complexity of operating ships of all kinds, many organizations have begun investing in new, state-of-the-art solutions to help make navigation simpler and safer. One of the best examples is Orca AI software. As this name implies, this artificial intelligence program can help increase situational awareness of ships in a fleet, allow crews to navigate high-risk conditions better, and more. The system assigns digital buoys to all ships and objects moving in and out of the ship's path, which can provide valuable data in real time. Ships also use their own radar, with many systems also being able to detect potential collisions and alert the crew so they can react in time. Perhaps one of the most advanced simulators for people working at sea is the KSIM Offshore Vessel Simulator. Developed by Kongsberg Digital, a Norwegian technology company, the KSIM system is designed to educate mariners about various scenarios they may encounter at sea. by providing a realistic and immersive training environment for offshore vessel operations. As with the simulators mentioned previously, this allows trainees to practice their skills in a safe and controlled setting. However, 
the KSIM is far more advanced than many of its competitors. For instance, it offers high fidelity, real-time simulations of vessel behavior, environmental conditions, and complex offshore operations. This includes a plethora of scenarios like maneuvering, anchor handling, platform supply operations, dynamic positioning, and emergency situations. The simulator also integrates sophisticated bridge consoles, control systems, and interactive 3D visualization, which further improve the lifelike nature of the tests. Finally, the system allows for intense multi-person training, enabling crews to work together in various simulated offshore operations. One of the most common situations that a boat pilot on the ocean might encounter is those related to rough seas. At America's Texas A&M University, students can learn to steer a 400-foot ship. Containing a variety of cargo through some of the most challenging weather ever recreated. Like the KSIM, this is a very sophisticated simulator that can be used both by individuals and teams. Thanks to its advanced technology, it's much easier and safer to learn how to properly control a massive 80,000 ton cargo ship as well as manage its crews. Though ships large and small still boast a wheel to steer the vessel, the amount of sophisticated equipment inside of an average bridge is genuinely staggering. Nearly every large ship will have a radar. However, unlike the radar systems used in the air, marine radar can be used to detect and track other vessels, land masses, and obstacles in the vicinity of the ship. This is crucial to collision avoidance because it helps provide situational awareness to the crew. Ships will also have a GPS receiver, which onshore sources and other ships can use to determine the vessel's precise location, speed, and course. The Electronic Chart Display and Information System, or ECDIS, displays digital navigation charts and related information for route planning, monitoring, and additional collision avoidance. Finally, AIS transponders exchange real-time vessel data with other ships and coastal stations. providing information such as the ship's identity, position, and current bearing. When it comes to safety and efficiency, companies around the world remain reluctant to cut any corners. Though collisions are not impossible out at sea, they are far more likely to occur within the confines of a harbor. This is not only because the ships not only have to contend with one another, but underwater structures and obstacles, the docks and the shoreline. In order to ensure that boats make it in and out of the harbor properly, most major ports employ pilot vessels. These are boats specifically designed to transport maritime pilots to and from large ships as they navigate challenging waterways.
These pilots are experienced mariners who have in-depth knowledge of local waters, channels, and port conditions. They provide their expertise to assist ship captains in safely navigating through potentially hazardous areas or complex docking procedures. Because pilots often have to work under challenging conditions, companies worldwide have invested a lot of technology into making these boats much safer. One of the most notable is Kiwatech, a Finnish boat manufacturer known for producing boats that are actually capable of riding themselves if they capsize in rough seas. The self-writing mechanism typically involves a combination of design elements, including specialized hull shapes, buoyancy chambers, and other stability-enhancing features. Kiwatech has performed a variety of tests on their vessels and confirmed that they could return to an upright position even if they are turned completely upside down. a situation that would otherwise result in a serious marine emergency. Of course, the vast majority of ship hulls do not include self-writing features. This not only leaves them susceptible to capsizing, but to hull damage as well. For larger ships, Sophisticated robots and other tools are often used to investigate hull integrity. Inspecting and repairing a ship out of the water is often necessary. For this reason, both commercial and military vessels will often rely on what's known as a dry dock. Dry docks are channels made of concrete, located directly next to a waterway. They can be flooded or drained as needed, which allows the vessel to enter and then be worked upon from top to bottom by both equipment and personnel. This facilitates thorough inspections, and enables maintenance crews to identify and address any damage or wear and tear that might not be visible while the ship is in the water. It also allows the hull to be cleaned and repainted, which is essential for preventing the buildup of barnacles and algae. which can increase drag and reduce fuel efficiency. One of the most essential procedures facilitated by dry docks is propeller maintenance. For instance, dry docks even enable the complete removal and maintenance of the ship's propellers. These components can suffer a variety of damage from underwater obstacles or general wear. However, their efficient operation is crucial for the vessel's performance. Dry docks vary in size, but there are some facilities so large that they can accommodate even the largest cruise ships and aircraft carriers. It's just one more way that organizations of all kinds keep their fleet safe and working correctly. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.